How did you get so brave? This is incredible. I've got a fox there. He knows I'm here. I'm talking to him. I'm a few feet away from him and he's still focused on my hens. Unbelievable bottle. Let's just see what uh, goes on here. He's still with us. Oi! Oi! Look at that for balls. Incredibly focused. He really doesn't give a shit and there's a Rottweiler within feet of him. That is foxes for you. Don't you think you should go now? Hey, cheeky chops. Bugger off. He's not forgiving in. You can't have me chickens. No. This is one determined fox. What are you doing? Go on, disappear. Go on, off you go. <laughs> you little sod. I gotta put these chickens away because there's no way that boy's given up. No way on earth. This is unbelievable. This fox just will not give up. Here he comes. Amazing. You can't have me chickens. Go on away. Go on away. Go on. Sod off. It actually looks as though he might have injured one of my chickens there. Either that or she's just distressed. But I've got to stay on the ball because he doesn't care. He's not a bit afraid of me. She's thinking uh, she needs height here. Here he is, look. He's just sort of got himself so transfixed on these chickens that he's just not prepared to let this drop. Whoa! Hey! <laughs> Go back in your shed. No. No. Be told. That's a gob full of one of my chickens. Now, now. No, no. Hey, come here. Come and say hello. Right, you cheeky beggar. <laughs> right, time to count the chickens and pop them away. He hasn't finished by any stretch of the imagination, and my chickens are down the field. 
so I think it's time to let the old Rottweiler out now because uh, I want to keep my chickens and he's gone back down for another go those chickens down the field are going to pop it in a second so I think it's time I evened the odds a little bit come on Dukey come and see to him he'll come round this way wait here Duke he's coming towards me and a bloody Rottweiler Believe it. Totally focused on the chickens. Absolutely, totally focused. There's a fox. There's a Rottweiler. There's the chickens. And he's determined. He's looking at these chickens here. Inches away from me. And he's absolutely considering launching and why on earth the rotty is just taking this I don't know there you go the bloody fox knows full well that the rottweiler can't catch him <laughs> hilarious Duke Come back you, don't go on the road. Okay, I've got a hen here that uh, unfortunately Foxy grabbed. So she was on adrenaline before, but she's gone down now, so I'm gonna have to try and get her without causing too much stress. The problem that I've got here is that when chickens have been attacked by a fox like this, uh, and they're free range, they revert to their old instincts and they bolt for cover and they just hide up now that's not such a good thing because it's on the edge of dark fox is still around and I need to get these hens locked up and before it comes dark otherwise they'll stay where they're hiding and he's got a good nose hasn't he and as far as I'm aware I've got two hens and the young cockerel missing Right, okay, well we're right on the edge of dark now and I've found the last hen. She was right up the wood and uh, she was staying put until she heard me come close enough. So that's one. So guess who was missing? It's the young cockerel. I know we've all got a little bit fond of the guy, but uh, if I don't find him before, before dark, I'm afraid he's toast. And that is a shame, because I really, I really have got a bit of a soft spot for him, silly as he is. So I need to get this last to bed now. Okay, well, I'm, I'm clean out of ideas. I've looked everywhere for the young cockerel. It's, it's almost dark now, and I just, I'm not going to find him. Just hope that he's, um, that he's managed to hide himself where Foxy can't find him, but I've got a bad feeling he won't have been able to, you know. But, uh, I mean, right at this moment in time he's still alive because he nearly knocked me down when the fox were chasing him. But I've looked under the brambles everywhere. Found the last hen, but uh, the little guy's missing. What can we do? It's, uh, fingers crossed, early start in the morning and try and find him when he wakes up, if he exists. You are not going to believe this. You are not going to believe this. But look at this. Just look at this. Just before I got in the car to go home. <laughs> this, is, this is officially what we call a happy ending. Wow. Little cocky survived. I might just possibly have enough battery <laughs> and enough daylight first to see this guy make it home. There you go mate. In you go, it's okay. <laughs>